Hello guys and welcome. So today I'm going to be playing the Detroit Become Human demo. This is now available on the PSN store in I think pretty much every region. So you should be able to go on the PSN store and download it. So what this game is, it's a kind of a detective negotiation slash investigation sort of game. The choices you make matter. So every choice you have and make, which I'll show you in the video, have a repercussion on the gameplay and in the demo they just let you play through one of the levels and you get a full taste of that so let me show you as well how to get 100 percent success rate in this level as well so let's start the demo now um game similar to this if you ever want to play one are games like heavy rain heavy rain is one of the few games i've ever platinumed on playstation because i did every ending and there is a lot of replayability in these sort of games because you can go through and try and get every single ending, basically. Every possible combination, if you care about it enough. Now, all the details matter, so let me go through that with you now. So we've arrived at the scene of the crime, now controlling it with my controller. So the way it works... Where it says there, up, it means you press up on the right analog stick. And we can see who the family is. So the dad, John Phillips, Caroline Phillips, and Emma Phillips, the daughter. Okay, so let's put it back. Now, little details. We can see the fish bowl has been shot. And there's a fish here that can be saved. So let's save the fish. Let's be a good citizen. Now, one thing you'll find in this game is that uh, things are on a timer. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am, you, you need to go. You can't do that. You, why aren't you sending a real person? Okay, so now we need to find the captain. So it says, hold R2 to, f to find him. So there you go, find him, he's in that room. We can't do anything else until we've spoken to the captain. I've tried, believe me. I've already done every possible ending. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Have you tried its deactivation? So, have we tried to deactivate it? Nope. So it doesn't matter what you press now, all three of these will get the same response from the captain. This response. Saving that kid is all that matters. And if you select nothing, then it will automatically select one of the three anyway. So regardless what you say at that point he doesn't comply with you at all now the way it works we need to analyze the evidence so we press down and we're analyzing so what you do you use the, d the right stick you rotate around until you find a point of interest then when you have the control button it says triangle and you see the down the down arrow means you have to hold the button and you can see at the bottom of the screen, it now says one of two clues analyzed. So let go of triangle, and then we can find the next one and analyze that. So now we found two. Now it gives us the option to reconstruct the scene. So hold square. Now, the way this works is you scroll through the timeline using L2 and R2 as follows. And you want to get to this bit where it's yellow. And when it's yellow, it means there's another point of interest. So we can see now... The Deviant took the father's gun. The Deviant being the android who is causing a ruckus outside. And every time you find any little piece of evidence, it boosts your chance of success. So now we're going into the hostage's room, the little girl's room. So let's look at her tablet. What you want to do, when it has the dots behind it, it says there, you have to swipe on the touchpad in that direction. But remember the dots. It distinguishes between whether you use the R-Stick or the swipe screen. 
Okay, so we've learned that the deviant's name is Daniel. And he's a family android. Okay, so there's still more to be found in this room. So if you look here, you find her headphones. So we've learned that the child didn't hear the initial gunshots. And again, so percentage has gone up a little bit. So the more evidence you find, the more chance you have to get to 100% success. So now, I've already looked, there's nothing around here. Let's go into here. Now we have a victim here, so press down on the R stick. And we want to examine him again. It says there's four clues to find. So let's find this. First, bullet wound. So it says lower lung hemorrhage. And then here. Left kidney. And another lung hemorrhage. Who is he? Let's find out. So this is John Phillips. This is the dad. So let's now reconstruct what happened. So let's rewind. Now pay attention to the small details. So let's examine. So he was using... See, father was holding something. Okay, so he was holding like an iPad or something. And then he turns around and he gets shot by the deviant. So we have to look for his iPad. So if you look, it goes flying out of his hand. See there? Flying, 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 flying. Boom. There it is. So if we look at the iPad, then we can see what is on it. Maybe it's something interesting of in, you know, on there that we want to know. So let's go to the iPad. Or oh, sorry, the tablet. Let's avoid branding, I suppose. Swipe right on the on the Okay. So the Deviant was going to be replaced. So we, we learned the dad was in the process of ordering a replacement. And maybe the android got upset about it. Now, you see how that cop got shot. When you investigate that corpse, he gets shot regardless. There's nothing you can do. I've tried multiple things. You can't avoid that guy getting shot. The only way to avoid it is to not examine. So swipe up. So basically, it, it goes on a loop. So um, once you've watched it enough, then that's it. So let's uh, see. So they were in the process of having dinner at the time. So maybe he was cooking dinner. He found out the, the father was ordering a replacement android. He went into the room, got the gun. Okay, so we know that Cyberlife is the one that makes all the androids. Now, let's look at the next victim. It's a cop. So again, let's analyze. So bullet wound. So shot in the heart. Who was he? So Anthony Deckard. Okay. And then let's see. So he only shot once. So let's reconstruct. So again, let's fast forward until the yellow bits. So the yellow bits are indicators when we can find something. So press triangle. So the hostage witnessed the shooting. Let's go to the next one. And the cop shot the deviant in the shoulder. Okay. And then you see this one didn't wasn't here before. So let's see. So if you notice, look closely. He had a gun and it went flying over there. So we turn the camera. And we can see there is a, a gun. So that is a point of interest. Now, for the sake of 100%, we're actually going to take the gun. And I'll show you why. So it actually says here that androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any weapon. But we're going to take it anyway. 
Because one of the alternate endings will be if you want to shoot the android, but we're not going to do that now. So, last two things before we go outside. So, let's examine this. Okay, so the child hostage could have been winded because her, sh her shoe has got blood on it. You know, human blood. So, that increased us a couple of percent. And then, last but not least, before we go outside. Okay, so we know that he, the android, has been shot as well. We know that for a fact. And we've gone up another couple of percent. Every percent counts, so... There they are. So obviously they're, they're not going to go in because they're trying to, you know, off duty number one, preserve life. That's why they send an android out, because it doesn't matter if the android Don't gets shot. Any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. Go, go, go. Hi, Daniel. Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about Okay, so what you can actually do, you can actually control him. So we're going to move him slowly towards Daniel. You can't avoid that percentage going down because the helicopter is stupid to go like that. Now, one thing you'll see on the left, you see this cop on the floor. So he said, calm is the option you want to go through first. I've been through all of these. It's a good idea to look closely to see if your words are having an effect. So we're looking now at the injured cop on the floor. To a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him, and I kill you. Okay, so this is the only time we ignore his. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. His instructions. Every other time we obey and we're sympathetic. So you see, he went down a couple of percent. He didn't do anything like he said he would. But now you can see at the top right, public opinion has gone up. Are you armed? Now you say yes, yes. you are armed. I have a gun. Drop it. He Don't knows you have a gun. He saw you pick it up. So if you lie, it will just the percentage will just go down. There. So you see, Don't because I've thrown the gun away, it's given me an extra three or four percent. So now we have these two options at they the top to we can select you, you because upset. of the research we did on the inside That's of the house. So we're edging slowly towards him. Okay, so we're as close as we can get now. And again, we'll select the option that has, was unlocked because of our investigation. Okay, sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay, we'll accept that command. The is under control. There, I did what you wanted. Let's increase the 99%. You don't really bluff. want to jump, Daniel, or you would have done it already. Now hand me the gun. This will all be over. Don't come any closer! Come any closer and I swear I'll jump! Okay, so we give up straight okay. away. Look, I'll stay right here. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside, at, at this point, if we still had a gun, 
we would have the option to shoot him, but we're not going to do that. We're going to compromise. Let the girl go you can also sacrifice yourself at that her. point if you want. But it's best you don't. I don't want to die. Reassure. Not going to die. Just going to if you die. tell the truth, you say, yeah, you're going to get shot. You have my word. So you have to lie to him. Because okay. we just care about the girl, we don't care about him. I trust you. So you see, it got to 100%. So now he's lost his only leverage. There's nothing you can do to avoid this. He will die in every situation, except in one situation where he kills you, which is obviously still game over. Believe me, if I could have got him to survive with the girl, I would have, but that wasn't an option. But this was the most important ending for me because you save the cop from bleeding and you get a hundred percent chance to succeed without the girl being in too much danger okay so you can see I've done every single combination that you can do in this level. Every single one. So you can have ones where Connor failed to reach the Deviant in time, because sometimes he will just fall off and drag the victim with him, and you don't get there in time. Or you can get um, Connor let for Emma um, and fell. And then that one we just did, the sniper shot the Deviant. Or Connor died protecting Emma. That's the one, that's the sacrifice self one, where basically you push him and then he shoots you a million times on the way down, but you protect the girl. Um, this one, the, the, the even shot Connor is you just are really bad at negotiating and he just shoots you in the head. And another one is you shoot the deviant, like you pull out your gun and shoot him in the face. But I prefer this ending because um, only the deviant uh, dies and that's it, everyone else is fine. And we can see as well, I built the trust, I lied to the Deviant to get the trust, I got close enough in case I needed to grab him, I was honest about the gun, I dismissed the helicopter, I had a friendly approach rather than a cold one, I saved the wounded cop, and what else? I saved the fish. So I'm obviously going for Citizen of the Year right here. And one thing you can do as well, you can look at the world stats, which is really interesting. So you can see that the percentage of people that got to each ending and so on. And that's it. So that's how you do the get 100% on the demo. And that's how this game works. And unfortunately in the demo, you only get the first level. You, if you want the rest, you're gonna have to um, buy the game when it comes out 25th of May. I will be playing this game. If you would like me to do these 100% guides for this game, let me know in those comments down below. But I am definitely interested in this sort of game. I always have been. Ever since Heavy Rain, I absolutely love this style of game. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you want to watch a random video, click there. If you want to see the latest upload, click down there. Or click down here to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.